Hey, what's going on, guys? Marty, and welcome, guys, back to another Call of Duty video. So, today, guys, I am um, so freaking happy. I wanted to kind of make another Call of Duty video very soon, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try, as I said, I'm gonna try to upload more often uh, Call of Duty videos. Um, I want to get back into the whole things. I mean, I used to when I started this channel, it was mainly Call of Duty channel. Uh, it was you know, I was uploading video needy daily probably pretty much daily or every other day or so and uh, then suddenly I kind of uh, went down a bit because I was you know you know all that stuff and uh, you know I finished uni a couple of years ago and uh, since then I've been looking for a job it's been so freaking hard and I haven't really had any chance finding a job I'm an interior designer by the way so um, yeah it's so freaking difficult uh, to find a job now these days I think it's pretty much in any other country it doesn't really matter where you live and um, yeah, I've been looking around and uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. This is the way I kind of started YouTube and then I started, uh, you know, uploading Call of Duty videos. Uh, you know, I was pretty much just at home playing or just going out and uh, even if I got over my friend's house, they end up probably playing Call of Duty. You know, Call of Duty Model for you at the time, it was like the game of the time in a way. Like, I remember uh, when was that? I was like around, was it 2010? Yeah, 2010, this is when it came out. I mean, 2010, it was, wow. There were so many good memories about Modern Warfare 2 in 2010. I could just think of them now. Like, I've had really good times playing it. You know, I've, you know, I didn't really spend all my life in 2010 playing it. But um, a big time of my life in 2010. I can tell you the truth. I was actually playing Call of Duty 2. It wasn't just me. It was me and probably another 20 of my friends would just sit down playing it from university and all that stuff. So uh, Call of Duty 2. It was so freaking amazing. It, it was about to make me fail my university as well. And this is how good it was. Like I was, I was so addicted to it. I was probably uh, for days like in the weekend because I had no uni or nothing like that. I was just kind of playing it uh, through pretty much. Uh, I go out on Saturday night. I come back, uh, you know, from the club or whatever about two three o'clock in the morning and I'll be playing it from like two three o'clock in the morning to the night next morning Sunday morning and then I'll probably sleep for a couple of hours and then wake up I was proper hooked into Model of 2 I mean Model of 2 it was so freaking amazing I loved it to bits uh, Black Ops another amazing game and um, but I didn't have that link between it I don't know why I, I didn't get so much attached to it as Model of 2 and then Model of 3 came out and I'll tell you what guys, the first game I played in Modern Warfare 3, I was like all over the moon. It kind of reminded me so much of Modern Warfare the first one and Modern Warfare 2. It was a mixture in between sort of things, but slightly in a better graphic. Uh, but one thing that I was hoping when I was playing Modern Warfare 3 for the first time, uh, you know, like in Modern Warfare 2 you have all of this sort of like brown color sort of uh, theme in a way you know the colors in the most of the colors are like sort of brownish in a way and then when we came into a model of three it was more sort of like gray uh yeah sort of grayish color i suppose so uh, there was some sort of different in the way you kind of uh, play the game and the way you see the game in a different aspect in a way and uh, but after like a few games I kind of got used to it and I remembered like the old Modern Warfare and I don't know why there were so many things in Model 3 kind of reminded me of the old Modern Warfare uh, and uh, you know the, the theater mode that was some amazing things that they have added in Modern Warfare 3 I mean they started off in Black Ops and uh, thanks to Triax to kind of come up with this idea that was so freaking amazing you could play because back then in Modern of the, you, we had to kind of uh, play and record and sometimes you probably play about 10 games and you have only one or two good games but you end up filling up your computer with so much memory that you don't even need and uh, now it just works out really well because you just play it doesn't really matter you could be playing 20 or 30 games and then you could just pick the best ones out of them put them in your vault and then whenever you're ready connect your hapog to the computer and then record if you haven't got one this is like sort of a small uh, black box with sort of like uh, green leds at the top i've got like the gaming edition and it's pretty cool um it costs about 200 pounds it's oh gosh in dollars it's about 300 dollars but i think it's worth it uh, you know it records everything's hd you need to have an HD TV as well to kind of make sure you record everything's in HD and it works really well since I've got this it kind of made my life a lot easier and uh, I wish if they could actually bring Minecraft on on the PlayStation because um, I would just get 
out of all this stupid lags. Even you know what, guys? I've heard so many things already. People complaining in Xbox. They saying Minecraft is actually lagging in Xbox 360. I mean, I couldn't actually believe this. You know, like when you buy a console and you buy a game on a console, you don't actually expect it to lag because you know, like it's going to be a very good processor running in the console with good graphic and all that. And you wouldn't expect to, you know, the game to kind of lag. But I've heard so many people already complaining about the lag. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video is about to end. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take care for now and bye bye.